Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous video, we have set up SQM QoS for our WAN interface to control the buffer float and the download and upload speed for it. In this video, we are going to set up SQM QoS on the LAN interface to control the speed of the computer, the laptop, and the wireless smartphone that is connected to the router. If you haven't watched the previous video, you can go to Vantage Corner and search for SQM QoS setup on Lucy. So let's back to our routers and this is still the old one, DIR-A42C2. And if you go to network SQM QoS, you will see that the application requires a specific interface in order to control the speed. For this tutorial, we will need to set up a digital two different interfaces one LAN interfaces for high speed, one LAN interfaces for the normal speed in order to control their speed. So let's go to network and interfaces and as you can see we have the LAN interface and the one interface and for the one six we can just ignore that all right because they are using actually the same ETH 0.2. Let's go to network switch. So this is the switch page and that you can see VLAN 2 ETH 0.2 is our one interface. So we don't care about that. And ETH 0.1 is our LAN interface. So this is our first LAN. So we put it like high speed LAN, right? So we are going to add a new VLAN, which is VLAN 3. So it will be ETH 0.3 and this will be the normal speed LAN, all right? The CPU port will be target. The LAN 1 and the LAN 2, let me see. The LAN 1 and the LAN 2, we are not using that. We are going to set up on LAN 3 and LAN 4. So we are going to change this one to off and off, all right? And that's it. So let's click save and apply. And let me show you how they are look like physically. So this is the DRA42C2 routers and you can see it have four LAN port. One, two, three, and four. So this port one and two will be the high speed LAN and port three and four will be the normal speed LAN. All right, so this is the one interface at usual. So that's it and let's back to open the BRT Lucy. Right, so let's go to network interfaces and now we need to create a new interface from that. So let's go ahead and add a new interface and then we can put it something like LAN2. So the protocol will be started IP address and the interface, it will be switch VLAN ETS 0.3, right? So let's create the interface. And then we can give it a new IPv4 address, maybe 192.168.5.1. .1. The subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0, which is slot 24. The gateway, we can leave it blank, and the broadcast, we can leave it blank. So for the custom DNS server, we can put it 192.168.5.1. And then 1.1.1.1, which is the Cloudflare DNS server. So basically that's it for the IPv6, you can enable it or disable it. Um, all right. So for the physical setting, just leave it there for the firewall, make sure we select it, the LAN firewall zone. And on the DHCP server, click set up the DHCP server to turn on. So that's it and click save and save. All right. So now if the computer is connected to the port 1 and 2 of the LAN port, it will be in the LAN interface. So if we have the IP address of 192.168.1. Something. And if the device is connected to port 3 and 4, it is going to have the IP address of 192.168.5. Something. Right. So right now we have two LAN interface. 
which is the BRLAN and the LAN2 interface. So right now the Wi-Fi, the wireless is connected to this LAN interface. Just in case you want your wallet device to have a new IP address, a different IP address from LAN and LAN2, then you can go to this button and then remove the wireless interface from the list, right? So it would be something like this, but I will not do that because I want the wireless to have a same IP address with the LAN interface. So basically that's it and let's go to network and then SQM QoS to set up the speed. On the basic setting, we need to select our interface name, which is, first of all, it will be the ETS 0.1, which is the LAN. So we need to set up the download and the upload speed. And if you select to zero, it will not reduce the speed. So it will be, zero so it will not do anything to control the speed this is what we want because we want this one to have a high speed so basically that's it and then click enable this sqm interface all right so we save it now let's add a new sql instance so click the add button and then enable this one and then on the interface now we need to select our LAN 2 interface so download speed it will be let's say I want my normal download speed we have the speed of uh, 100 Mbps so 99999 and then 99999 just in case you want to have a different download and upload speed for your LAN interface you need to revert it which means the download speed will be the upload speed and the upload speed will be your device download speed so make sure you don't mess up this All right click save and apply and then lastly we need to create a new rule for our wireless device i will add a new instance and select our wireless interface which is this one and then the download speed it will be so this one, the download, it will be the upload one. So for upload, I want it to be 49, 999. And for the download speed, it will be 99999, which is 100 Mbps. So this is actually upload speed and this is actually download speed, All right? Enable the instant and hit save and apply. And you can see from the router, our computer is connected to port LAN number one. So it should have the maximum speed. So I'm using the 200 Mbps speed link. So let's do a speed test and verify that, right? So just right here and let's run the speed test. All right, that's good. That's good, it is 200 Mbps. And yep, the same thing, 200 Mbps, something like that, because we don't control the speed of the interface. Let's try with the second rule of LAN, which is the normal speed, All right? So let me plug this cable to the third port, right? You can see, this is the third port. And by right, we should receive a new IP address. So let's check that. Let me just put over the CMD, just put it over here and then IP config. Right, so as you can see, we have a new IP address for LAN, which is 192.168.5.247. So let's run the speed test and verify that. Yep, it works, 92 and 92. Let's give a try with a smartphone and yep, we are connected to the OpenWRT 5G Wi-Fi as you can see just right here. And let's open the speed test application.
Right, so we see that the download speed is still um, 74, 78, so it's at around 80. And let's see the upload speed. Yep, the upload speed is now capped at 44. So our setting are correct and it's worked as expected. So that's all about the video. We have set up SQM QS for our LAN interface and our wireless interface to control the upload and the download speed. And in this video, I have created a new network interfaces for our second LAN. However, if you want all the device, all the LAN device to have the same IP address instead of uh, the two different ones, so 192.168.5.1 and 192.168.1.1 then you don't need to create this LAN2 interface but what you can do is after you successfully create the switch the new VLAN on the switch page just like this so we have a new VLAN then we can directly go to network interfaces and then assign it to the LAN interface. So just like this, so on the interface, we have ETH 0.1 and then ETH 0.3. So we can just add them in and we don't need to create it interface at all. And by doing this way, we will have just a single subnet for our LAN devices and our Wi-Fi devices. But if you want to have a different LAN IP address, just like this, then you can create as many as interfaces. So I hope um, this will help you to control the speed maybe of your main gaming PC and the smart TV and all the devices in your home or on your network. If you have any questions or if you have any idea for SQM, feel free to share it in the comment section and I believe that this will be really helpful for our friends and followers and they can read and they can give a try on that. It is recommended and you are very welcome to do that on our channel. All right. So as always, if you like the video, hit like. If you don't like the video, hit the dislike button and tell the reason so that I can improve it for the next release. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I will be see you in the next video. Bye bye.